In the last video, we took the Land Cruiser for a short uh, road test, which went pretty well. But one of the things I found was there was excessive brake pedal travel when when you're under braking. It, it stopped straight and there's no noise, but it, it was a lot of pedal travel. Too much really for my, my level of comfort. So that's really the subject of today's video is to see if we can find and address that problem. And... Uh, what I did to kind of start this whole process out was to go look at the factory service manual and see what it says about excessive brake travel. And you can see it lists three things. Worn brake linings or improperly adjusted brake shoes, uh, a leak in the hydraulic system, and excessive pedal free travel. That's the free part where before the brakes engage when you step on them. Now, I've checked that and it's okay. There's no, the brake pedal free travel is okay. That's C. But in B, I've looked through the whole system for leaks. I don't see any leaks anywhere. And so really that left, it leaves us with option A, um, where, which has two options there, which are um, worn linings, which we don't have, they're okay, or improperly adjusted brake shoes, which is what I think it must be. So um, today, what, um, well actually I should show you what I noticed and why I think maybe the brake linings aren't properly adjusted which is, um, I can show you best on this wheel back here, which is when I turn it, it goes through a period where it's pretty hard and there's quite a little bit of brake drag. And then part of a turn and it gets easy. And part of a turn, it gets harder again. And what I think that means is the brake drums are not round anymore. They've gone out of round. It basically goes through easy, hard, easy, hard twice in each rotation, which I think means the brake drums probably or may be out of um, out of round. So what I did was I took the brake drums to a machine shop and I had them done. But unfortunately, um, they could only do two of them. And so I took those two and put them on the fronts. And I can show you this wheel. which rotates nice and smooth all the way through 360 degrees. So I've got two OK brake drums in the front now, and I've got to replace two. So yesterday I went up to a scrapyard called Classic Cruisers up in Poncha Springs, and they got me two more used brake drums that had enough metal on them to, uh, to be machined. And I took them to a machine shop, had them machined, and so these should be okay. These should be better than the ones that are currently on the back here. So today's video, what I'm going to do here is uh, take the back brakes apart, uh, replace these drums, readjust the brakes, and uh, go around and see if that improves the brake pedal travel issue that we're having. I'll probably do this in several clips, put the, put the camera uh, on the stand, maybe shoot some time lapse so it doesn't take a long time to watch. And hopefully it'll turn out okay. You never know with these things. Thank you. 
Okay, the new drums are on all the way around um, and we're ready to adjust them. The rears already feel like they're going to work better. It's a lot more even turning than it was before. Yep, it's a lot better. So we're ready to adjust. Again, this may be the fourth time I've done it. The adjustment procedure that's in the manual is a little different than, um, than I'm used to doing. But basically you do the brake pedal first, which is right. I mean, that's, that's right. Then you do the brake shoe clearance, which is really the main thing we're going to do here today. And they, the process they recommend here in this, in the, this is a factory service manual, is to do it while the vehicle is cool, while the brakes are cool, and then expand the brake shoes until you can't turn the brake pedal, or you can't turn the wheel anymore. And then back off five notches until the shoe slightly drags, which is the part that, that's the way I normally do things, is I just tighten them. And I can kind of see their point here. They're, they want you to um, uh, run the brake shoes up tight against the drum. That gets them centered. And then back off a little, and that might that might work a little better so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to um, go ahead and put this thing put the camera back on the tripod and um, set it up to do to do all this with time lapse because it's a little bit of a it's like a lot of back and forth so it would take too long to watch in real time <laughs> Well, the uh, brakes are all adjusted, and I'm um, happy to report that things look a lot better now. The uh, brake pedal play is um, a lot closer to normal, and looks really good. 
And so I think the getting the drums machined and replacing the two worn out ones did make a difference. So I guess I learned something, which is when you do drums, even if the drums look okay, maybe you should have them machined anyway. And the second thing I think I learned is when you do wheels on FJ40s, because there's two wheel cylinders on each brake, you need to adjust them in pairs a little at a time so that the shoes contact the front and the back and the top and the bottom of the drum all at the same time because when I was adjusting them this time around on the rear here, I noticed that the rear wheel cylinder was a lot looser than the front wheel cylinder and that could cause extra brake pedal play. So um, lessons learned and now it's documented. Uh, next step's a road test, which I'm uh, going to go ahead and do next. That's more like it. Brakes are good.